How to win the French defense in only 12 moves. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Grandmaster and today you will learn one variation against the French defense. So this game was played seven years ago in the Andorra Open chess tournament against Fel Sebastian with a rating of 2,343 below a... Uh, 200 points exactly um, to my rating 2543 in this time and let's see the game so I played of course all my time all my career all my chess life e4 e6 this is the French defense I played the move d4 d5 and now you have several options to choose so first of one is to play knight to c3 and of course here so much theory so much games were played and I will show you some, some variations uh, to look on knight f6, e5, knight fd7, f4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop e3 and now black has some options, a6, bishop e7, so much theory here but it's really really important to learn and see games and analyze and I really recommend you to do it. So instead of knight c3, of course after knight c3 another option is bishop b4, e5, c5, a3, bishop takes, b takes, queen c7, also here so much theory and you can learn a lot of games here were played. Um, so of course after um, d5 there is some uh, different options, of course knight d2, uh, we have bishop d3, um, we have e takes d5, we have e5 that we will see in this game, uh, but knight d2 of course another very good option, here black uh, can choose knight f6, bishop e7, knight c6, c5 of course, also here you can see several uh, variations and so much games in the mega database and you can just learn and have some fun and of course LAN openings it's something very important in our chess develop skills so in this game I played after d5 the advanced variation I played the move e5 and the point is that I really get some space and my um, of course my control in uh, the center is very uh, important because after c5 I will play the move c3 and this pawn structure will be very good for me I want to play knight f3, bishop d3, castle and this is our plan for now so he played the move knight to c6 I uh, develop my knight of course knight f3 and he played the move queen to b6 so as we can see black is trying uh, to attack this weak pawn on d4 it's not a weak pawn but uh, is very important pawn because this pawn is um, uh, covering this very strong pawn on e5 and if black will succeed to take our pawn on d4 our pawn structure and everything in the center is just uh, way way off right so we must think how can we uh, defend this pawn on d4 so i play the move knight to a3 as you can see there is knight here, the queen here and maybe the knight will come also to f5 to attack this pawn so I would like to play my knight on c2 and to defend this pawn so c takes d4, c takes d4 and now we play the move knight g to e7 another option is to play the move bishop to b4, bishop d2 and now I assume you ask yourself why black just can't take the, the knight b takes a3 and knight takes d4 and say oh thank you very much for the pawn but hey, let's think about the position. Queen a4 check, knight c6 is the only way, and now bishop to d3. Let's do evaluation of position. So the position is very open, and we have two very strong bishops, right? That they are doing a crazy job here, right? Another thing, we have like open files. So we will play ro castle, rook a b1, rook fc1, queen g4 maybe. The black pieces are not developed at all, right? This knight, this rook, uh, this bishop, this rook doing a very, very, um, you know, bad job here until now. And it seems like the initiative for white is very strong. So in this position, I can tell you that uh, without the pawn, we have a, a very strong initiative and attack. So after c takes d4, he played the move knight g7. I played the move knight c2, of course as we thought uh, in our plan, he played the move knight f5 and now I just played the move bishop to d3. Of course, knight takes d4 is very very bad move uh, and just we will take the knight, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, queen takes d4 and bishop b5 check, 
of course, and taking the queen on d4. So white will win this game. So knight takes d4 uh, is not is not a move. In this position, I think a5 should be the move, or maybe bishop d7, or maybe bishop e7. But my opponent played the move knight to b4. Is looking for my bishop on d3, but of course this bishop is very very important for us. So we just taking the knight on b4 with our knight, bishop b4, and now his idea was that after bishop d2 he will take the pawn on d4, right? So after knight takes d4, queen takes d4, queen a4 check, bishop d7, queen takes b4, the bishop on d3 is going, and black is totally fine here. I think is just better. So. After bishop b4, I didn't play the move bishop d2. I just play a very calm move, king to f1. And the point is that my king is really safe here. I can play g3 and king g2. And you know, I didn't uh, just uh, castle, right? I'm not sure that the rook is bad here. Maybe I will play h4, h5 and the rook will do a great job in the h-file. So the king will be very, very safe on g2. So it's really fine for me. And of course, knight d4 here also a bad move because I don't know, knight takes d4 at least, queen takes bishop b5 and the queen uh, just lost. So he played the move castle and this was a mistake. And now you can stop the video and think how can I win this game. I played one move and my opponent just resigned it. So I played the move g4 and now I will explain to you why he resigned the game. After knight takes d4 I just can take this knight, queen takes and bishop h7, king takes and queen takes d4 with queen up and winning the game of course. So knight takes d4 is not good. After knight e7 just a3, bishop a5 and b4 and this bishop is just lost and of course two bishops for me and the game is just over we have peace up and we are winning the game so after g4 another option is to play knight h6 i must admit that i thought in 100 that he will play this move instead of um, resign the game but also in this position white will win i will take the knight g takes h6 queen c1 king g7 and now g5 very important move of course after h5 queen f4 with some queen f6 queen h6 or queen h5 h4 queen h5 and yeah the attack is just a uh, very very strong and i should i'm sure 100 that white will win this game and of course it's nice after g5 if h takes g5 queen takes g5 queen, king h8 queen f6 king g8 and the rook is coming rook g1 checkmate so yeah after g4 my opponent just resigned the game and I won the, the French defense in only 12 moves. If you like this video, just hit the like button, of course, and subscribe my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.